When I was 18 years old, I had a lot of arguments with my parents, which is quite typical when you're 18 and you think you know it all. And one day there was one argument too many and I thought, wait a minute, I'm 18 years old. That means I'm an adult. That means I can do whatever I want. That means I can move out. And at the time I didn't know uh, where I was going to go. I just decided to move out to demonstrate how independent I am and I don't have to put up with this and that. You know, the typical rebellious teenager identity. Um, so I packed my stuff and I left. The funny thing is what kind of stuff I packed. I didn't pack any clothing. I didn't pack my toothbrush. Should have. <laughs> I didn't pack uh, the necessities of daily life. All I packed was books. You see, I love books so much. I didn't even think of clothing, didn't care about clothing. I didn't even pack underwear. I later realized, oh my goodness, what am I, what am I going to do without underwear? Okay, I only have one t-shirt, one pair of jeans, and a suitcase full of books. Now, the suitcase was a bit bigger than this one. It was actually quite massive. And I packed as many books as I could into it, but not all of my books fit in. I tried as I, I tried everything to fit all of my books in because my entire room was just books. Friends would visit me and they'd say, what's, what's wrong with you, Fred? What's up with all the books? You know, I had uh, every possible book you could imagine. And also books that my parents didn't like and some of the fights were actually over uh, wh wh why I'm reading such weird books, strange books. Uh, I had a thing for forbidden books, banned books, outrageous books, you know, I had books of any anything you can imagine. I loved them so much. Is it any wonder that I became an author? So I, I packed as many books as I could and the suitcase was about this big. It was so packed that books were coming out of the sides of it and I carried it uh, outside to a bus stop. It's hilarious, okay? And I, uh, I said, well, I'm leaving home, you know. Uh, and I went to this bus stop, uh, and I just stood there with a suitcase full of books and no home. A homeless kid with a suitcase full of books, you know. But that's all I needed, I believed. And it turned out true. Books are all I needed. I love researching books, I love writing books, and I still love reading books. I read several books a month still to this day. You know, I've read tens of thousands of books. And that's my story of how I started with books. That was the initial point in my life, the turning point, where I chose books. I used to read my books on Kindle. I loved very much to have access to books in such a short time. But as of late, since about a year, I order all of my books as hard copies, real copies, because it just feels different. We spend a lot of time on screens, and to hold something tangible um, allows me to immerse myself into the material more, to touch it. I often also uh, add the audiobook if I can get it to get the material even more. So I do a double. I, I get the physical book and the audio book. And I recommend the same to readers of my books. And that is why I've published all of my books as hardcover, high quality hardcover for the very first time. And it's the first time I have all of my books in this quality. They've been available as paperback for many years, but they've never been available as real hardcover books. And that makes them uh, much more precious. It's much more fun and precious to hold a hardcover book. And at the same time, publishing them in this way 
uh, makes me independent of Amazon because as you might know, Amazon takes most share of the money. You pay for a book, most of it goes to Amazon, not to the author. If, however, uh, you purchase these books, these hardcover books, not at Amazon, but directly at the publisher, which is Lulu, directly on their website, then a part of the money actually goes to the author. You're actually rewarding the author rather than uh, Amazon. So that's the second reason I publish these books as hardcover, to gain some Amazon independence, which is very, very important for independent publishers and authors and the future of humanity, in my opinion. It's not good that one company controls the entire market, you see. Now, I made this video to talk about each book a little bit. That's right, every single book. Okay, so this is the levels of energy section, and these are wildly popular books in some circles. I also have the reality creation section. So some people are into my reality creation stuff, others are into my levels of energy stuff. Those are my main two lines of teaching. Levels of emotion, levels of consciousness, and reality creation. I think the uh, book Levels of Energy, this one right here, is probably the best book I've ever written. It's also the second best selling after Parallel Universes of Self, which is the all-time best selling. So, the second book in this series is Journeys in Spectral Consciousness. The third is Realms of Consciousness. And these books, uh, tell you everything you need to know on the topic. Then there's Increase Your Energy, which is strictly speaking not in the series, but I put it here because it's about raising your consciousness and energy in general. And my latest book in the series is Levels of Heaven and Hell, which takes the same concept, but puts it much more broadly, all the way to higher and lower realms outside of daily life. Very mystical book, one of my personal favorites. A book I very much enjoyed writing. I'm into mystical stuff, really. More than I'm into self-improvement, it's just that the self-improvement material sells better, because it's more relevant to daily life, you see. This is my far out book section right here with uh, Atlantis and the Garden of Eden and Ancient Aliens of Atlantis, Time Travel, the Pleiades and Our Secret Destiny, Hidden Realities, and my latest, this is my very latest book, Extraterrestrial Linguistics. It is my top number one favorite book ever written. but it doesn't sell as the best book because it's very strange, very far out, very weird. Um, people can barely relate to it. They don't know what to say about it. You know, it's just very far out. But I love it because it's 100% uh, me rather than looking at what people uh, want to read, you know, what they're demanding, books such as this. This is 100% me. So I try to balance between what the market wants and what I want, and that's worked out well for me. Uh, the Atlantis books are beautiful. This one is also very recent and very new. Time Travel. Published it just last year. However, what most people don't know is that the first version of this was written a uh, long time ago, 2001, I think, and it was in German, actually. So here's the old version of the book in German, Zeitreisen. Yes, I did write in German. I wrote about 20 books in German, 
back in the day. Why? Because I lived in Germany, so I figured I'd write in German, even though I'm an American. So this book was, uh, some of it was taken from here, and other parts were rewritten. Time Travel Through Consciousness and Advanced Technology. I love this book too. Beautiful book. Among my favorites. So you got my personal favorites, Extraterrestrial Linguistics, Time Travel, Levels of Heaven and Hell, Levels of Energy, and Magnetic Wealth Attraction. Those are my personal favorites. Okay, And readers' personal favorites are Parallel Universes of Self, Reality Creation and Manifestation, which is my thickest book. I mean, this is incredible. I think these are, uh, let's see how many pages we got here. 412 pages. And I think as a paperback, it's over 500 pages. This is my thickest book. It's essentially a collection of articles on reality creation that I wrote over 20 years. And I just put the best of all of that into this one book. And it's a reader's favorite. People keep writing to me about it. I read in Reality Creation and Manifestation this and this and this. I'm not going to talk much about this book because everybody knows it and it's a bestseller, Parallel Universes. This is also a bestseller, one of my oldest books. So this is the Reality Creation section also containing Illumination of Consciousness. These four books are on reality creation. And then here we have the Success section, these four books here. And they're more worldly. So if you want to rate my books on a levels of consciousness scale, these are higher consciousness books, and I'd rate these as lower consciousness books, but not in a bad way but more in a worldly, materialistic way. And I like materialism, I like uh, money-making, I like business, okay? I just acknowledge where it is in the grand scheme of things. And that success attracts success. Just reading the title should actually do it for you. Just read the title, you know the whole book. <laughs> Nonetheless, this is about willpower and determination and persistence and I've gotten great feedback on it from a certain type of people, success type people. This is Prosperity Consciousness, uh, my first book on wealth, and this is Magnetic Wealth Attraction, which is among my favorite books, highly recommended to everybody, translated into Italian recently, selling very well in Italian, and this is the Leadership Course, which is a very small book, actually, very short book. That's my success series. These are communication books here. We've got the Communication Course. Learn a language in five days. Love, Sex, and Soulmates. And you probably don't know this, but this book, Language in Five Days, um, is probably the oldest book I've ever written. It was published in English much later, but I probably wrote this in the German language um, in 1994, that far back. My first book was How to Learn a Language in Five Days, published 1994. So that's how long I've been writing books already. Essays on Creating Reality. Um, this is where I put my articles since about 2016. So you have book one is 2016. Book, articles 16, book 2 is articles 2017, book 3 is 2018, book 4 is 2019, book 5 is 2020, 
And I'm going to keep on doing this because these are actually um, very much appreciated. People like these because they contain small nuggets, you know, of inspiration, small nuggets of wisdom, small nuggets of my perspective on things based on my experience. Yeah, I'm going to keep on doing that. People want me to keep on doing it. These are a collection of all articles written after 2016. Being higher self is about exactly what the book says. Actually, I haven't looked at this book in a long time. Let's see what it's actually about. Infinite awareness. Lovely topic. Look at the uh, table of contents. Higher self-consciousness. Upgrade your identity. Realms of bliss. Enlightened consciousness. Transcend the ego. Infinite awareness. Life is a spiritual journey. Advanced meditation. Non-duality. Hyper-lucid dreaming. Deeper relaxation. That sounds like a fun book, huh? I forgot what it's about. Too much, if you write too much, you sometimes forget. You know, people reference old books of mine. Um, for example, Parallel Universes was written in 2006, and only just a few months ago, it became a surprise bestseller in Italy, you know, completely out of the blue, unexpectedly. And now I have pe people writing to me uh, referencing the book, you know, uh, you wrote this and this, and can I talk more about this? And for me, that is the distant, distant past. And I actually have to go into the book and look up what they're talking about. I'm like, ah, ah okay, right. That was way long ago, but for them it's brand new. So I need the patience to get into that. The Miracles of Attention and Awareness. see what this is about. Modes of attention. Ah oh, yes, attention shifting, expanded attention, keeping your focus after setbacks. A whole book just on the topic of attention. Concentration training, presence training. Absolutely beautiful. Intuition training. Intuition is very underestimated. I ascribe most of my success to intuition. To knowing, to just knowing what to do. To just knowing how to do it. Lives of the Soul, very metaphysical book about afterlife, pre-life, in between life. As you can see, I've sorted these books uh, by topic because they belong together. If you want to get deeply into a topic and learn everything there is to about it, you are. Uh, just focus on that category and have all the books in that category. So if you want to know everything about levels of energy, it's levels of energy, realms of consciousness, journeys in spectral consciousness, increase your energy, and levels of heaven and hell. And that's a pretty good, pretty solid education on the topic. Of course, reading is not yet implementing. You know, then you've got to implement what you read. That's why I recommend you take notes, you mark certain areas, and you ask yourself how you could put things into practice, how you could remind yourself of certain principles. Then if you add the audiobook to each 
you retain more of it because we remember more of what we also hear. So we remember about 20% of what we read, and then if we also hear it, it goes up to 30%, 40%. And if we then also implement it and do it, or even teach it, it can go up to 80% memory retention. Okay, so books are merely a first step. Visit a seminar, that's how you best retain the material or do a coaching. So this is the levels of energy category. That's one, two, three, four, five. If that's what interests you. And these books also belong together here. The Reality Creation Technique, which is uh, manifesting with your willpower. And Parallel Universes of Self, which is more manifesting uh, through receiving, more passively, through divine will. And then Reality Creation and Manifestation, which features every possible technique, everything you need to know already written. Okay. Um, <laughs> any person who does only this has more than enough for life. I don't know why people keep reading books on manifestation after that. People ask me, so Fred, which books on law of attraction and manifestation are reading now? And I'm like, uh, isn't this enough? What more do you need? Okay, I'm not reading any more books on the topic. I'm complete with the topic, and this completed it. And then uh, this one, which gives you insights from my reality creation seminars. These are techniques I developed within seminars and through coachings, and that's what makes this book uh, unique and special. Then, if you're into money, it's these this series of books that I've already showed you. This is the I Want the Money, Show Me the Money series. And if you're into far out stuff, it's of course uh, these books here. I haven't showed you this one, Hidden Realities, which is a collection of, uh, again, articles that I wrote in the internet. This, on the other hand, is not a collection of articles. It's a book written as such, and it's inspired by an experience I had, an outer dimensional or extraterrestrial experience of my own. Something I have not mentioned yet is that my books are available in seven different languages. I have books in German, I have books in Arabic, now also in Hebrew, I have books in Italian, and in Spanish. But I do ask you one thing, if at all possible, order the hardcover copy of the book, not at Amazon, but directly at the publisher, if you wish, to benefit the author. I love books so much. I love libraries. I love hanging out in libraries. I'd like to know that books are different than the internet. Um, internet deceives you into thinking you have access to all kinds of knowledge, but the quality of knowledge is not the same because it's scattered. It's like uh, short tweets, short thoughts by anybody. Books are different. They're accumulated knowledge on one topic, all gathered into one place. They're going into a thing deeply. And in the internet, you often don't go into a thing deeply. That's what's different about books. You can immerse yourself into another world and thus become another person. And that is why I love books so much. When I left home, I did not take material possessions with me. I took knowledge with me. I took something with me that I was passionate about. And that is what has made me a successful person.